let's start with your reading Pisces today we are going to look into your current situation we're going to look into your energy your person's energy or external energy and then we're going to take a look at what's coming toward you next that you might not know about yet now let's start with your first message all right very exciting one to begin with your first message today says you are very close to achieving your goal right here we see the wish fulfillment card we see a card that talks about something finally happening for you something you have been waiting for hoping for and potentially even working towards but that at times made you struggle now I really see that this card is coming up with a twist, as if what's coming towards you is actually not exactly what you're thinking about right now. This is actually going to be much better. It's as if you haven't allowed yourself to dream big enough, to really think out of the box and to aim high. And right now, whatever is coming your way, it's going to surprise you because it's not just on the lines of what you were asking for, but it's much better. And so definitely an exciting message to begin with. Let's see what this is about. Let's do our three shuffles and let's begin with your reading. Wow. All right. Look at this. Ace of Cups, Ten of Cups. Obviously, we have a new beginning that will really turn out to be a unexpected wish coming true. And oh my God, main energy for the reading. Another card that talks about wish fulfillment. It's absolutely clear, especially when the same message keeps coming up over and over again in a reading that whatever is coming towards you, it's not only what you were hoping for and more, but it's also something that it's going to take you to the next level. What I see with the star is that you're letting go of all the worries, of all the anxiety when it came to the situation, and you're finally able to look at it with a fresh perspective and with a sense of joy and also feeling much more light than you have had up to this point. There is something right here that it's giving you the confidence and the happiness. And the star is also the card that talks about miracles happening in your life. So in the center of the reading, the energy for the situation turns out to be the Six of Swords. And clearly right here, you're trying to move on from drama. You're trying to move on from struggle and you're giving up on something that potentially has really brought a lot of pain in your life. Right here, we see that you are moving away from someone who never really truly invested in you. It's as if this person always had, always kept a way out from this connection. Something was always in the way when it came to this, and they always found an excuse when it came to really commit to you. Whereas instead, I see you giving your all to this person, thinking, you know what, whether you believe it or not, when a connection is real and when the love is there, nothing can stand in the way of it. And if it does, it's quickly taken care of, put aside so that the connection can continue to grow. But obviously this person did not think the same way. And this brought to you a lot of struggle, a lot of confusion overall. What I see as far as your energy goes, 10 of wands, you are definitely impacted by everything that has happened. And when you go through situations like these, it's hard to dream big. It's hard to build expectations again and let yourself hope for more. 
That's why what we see here is something coming true that you were not expecting because at this moment in your life, you are just ready to settle. You're just ready to say, you know what? I'm not even going to go there. I'm not going to even hope for it. Whatever comes my way, I'll be happy with it. That's all I can afford. That's it. But it's not true. And this energy coming in will, in fact, prove you wrong. Right here, I see that there were a lot of situations, a lot of things that have happened with this person that just did not make sense. This is someone who would say they wanted to commit and then they behaved in a completely different way. It's as if they regretted it. They regretted their commitment in a way or another. They always put you in the position where you felt that something was wrong about you, as if there was something you couldn't understand or you couldn't see, but it was absolutely not true. Now, on their side, their energy is actually very interesting because with the Three of Swords reversed, we see someone who's wanting to let go of an energy that now is blocking them. They are definitely doing a good job to um, hide this from you. But this person is actually going through a lot of pain. I don't know yet if this is related to you, to being away from you, or if this is something else, something different. But whatever it is, and we'll see when we clarify, this person is going through a lot. And I do believe that in a way or another, it connects to you and what you represented to them. You know, the truth being is that you do have great memories together and a lot of happy times. But then something just happened that created a point of no return. And that really made you wonder, how do we go from laughing and loving each other to sadness and pushing each other away? At the end of the day, it's true that a lot of people often care when it's too late. And this is exactly what I'm seeing right here with the Three of Swords reversed. As soon as we clarify, we'll look deeper into this person's energy to see what's really happening over there. Now, in your challenge position, we have the Ace of Cups. And this card is warning you about two different things that are actually equally important. First of all, we have just mentioned about the great memories and the happy times you've had together. Now, it's really important to not let those emotions and those memories influence your decision making today. You need to understand that in order to make a decision today for something that will impact you in the future, you have to have a current reason why to do so. Memories are great. Happy times are absolutely great. The things you've shared together, the things you've done together, but those now belong into the past and cannot be used as a reason why to maybe give them another chance or a reason to neglect some of your needs and your expectations. Never. Now and in the future. But also with this Ace of Cups, I see a need to be honest. And in this case, obviously this person needs to be honest with you, but also you need to be honest with yourself, Pisces. There are things right here that potentially you have been neglecting, things that you uh, haven't been fighting for anymore just because it's hard to believe in love and believe in these type of connections after being beat down so badly by someone who you care about so much and so right here with the ace of cups you need to reconnect to your true self and that is the starting point of the rest of your journey that's the first step ace ace of cups that then will take you to the end of that cycle ten of cups beautiful emotional happy happy of a happiness that you are not even dreaming about right now you know i see something beautiful over here especially considering the six of swords something is changing within you and at first it will feel very strange pisces you are starting to feel free free from this person, free from what they represented to you, free from thinking that the only way to be happy is by being with them. It's going to be weird because now you have to rebuild yourself, the star, rebuild your life, your vision, but it's going to feel like the best thing ever. 
You now realize that the wish you had, the thing you were hoping for the most, wasn't to be back with them, wasn't to be back in a situation that, yes, at some point made you happy, but then made you very unhappy. The real wish was to feel free from them. And that's exactly the first thing that it's coming up towards you next. And this is beautiful, but it's just the beginning because coming towards you and you don't know it, major happiness. This 10 of cups honestly represents everything that you really deserve. Everything that potentially once in the past you let yourself dream of, but then eventually you give up on because, you know, life happens and disappointments come along and teach you potentially that certain things are just like impossible and that chasing for rainbows, it's always something that you will regret later on. But that's exactly what I see coming towards you with or without this person will have to see. But the Ten of Cups talks about feeling happy in your person's arms, a feeling of belonging with your environment, long-term stability, and overall, a happy heart, something that potentially you haven't experienced in a long time, not with that intensity that it's actually going to come up next for you. This is alignment with yourself, with your path as well, which you haven't been on for a long time since you have allowed certain things to happen with this person. So clearly we have a lot more to look into. We have here an overall transformation within you that eventually will take you to a brand new beginning. I love to see this 10 of cups because honestly, it should give you the hope and it should raise your expectations when it comes to your future and not distant future here. We're talking about the next few weeks, the next few months, but it all starts from this challenge. So we have a lot to clarify. Let's start clarifying all of these messages. I want to see more into this person, into their current energy. I want to see what role they will play in this Cups journey, Ace of Cups, Ten of Cups. I want to see what this will represent for your near and distant future. And then let's also see what else is coming your way in the next few months that you should absolutely know about today, Pisces. Oof, the cards really want to talk to you right now. So let's continue with your reading, Pisces. If you want to dive deeper into the messages, just follow me in the extended reading link below in the description box. Also, don't forget that every single week I randomly select viewers who have watched the extended video to offer them a 100% free personal live 45 minute reading. I send out emails to confirm every Monday morning. Please make sure to check out your spam folder as well. Now, stay tuned for the extended preview. Ooh, coming right up after this. Welcome back to your extended reading, Pisces. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? The bridging energy, actually, the bridging energies taking us from this current situation to the incoming events, the tower, and behind the tower, the sun. Clearly right here, something that you're not expecting is about to happen, is about to show up in your life. And although it will feel definitely uncomfortable because the tower is not an easy energy to go through, at the end of that journey, at the end of that road, that path, what do you have? You have major happiness. I know that some of you, when you think about the happy times in your life, you are feeling as though they are back in the past and that maybe they will never happen again. But you're wrong about it because with the sun, the Ten of Cups, we clearly see some major development in your life and overall a transformation that will give you everything that you were wishing for and more. Now, this tower is key to understand how to get there. Again, the tower is not an easy energy to go through, but again, in this specific case, it's going to be absolutely worth it. So let's start by clarifying the tower in order to see what you should expect next 
and how this is going to impact your near and distant future. Then we'll see where this is going to lead to and what else is coming your way that you should know about today. Six of Pentacles with the Chariot and two more. Six of Cups with the Seven of Cups. Someone is feeling as though they have lost a treasure. And the communication that it's coming in, it's going to clarify to you a lot of things that you thought you knew, but that instead are going to be completely different. First of all, what we see...